Welcome back. This is The Sim Pit. I'm not Sean Cole. It's Booth here with another Mazda guide as we swingy swang that rear end of the car and warm up the tires on our outlap here. Now we're at uh, Summit Point. This is the Jefferson Circuit layout and hopefully with this guide here we should be able to get you down pretty close to the 55s. My personal fastest time this week is a 56 but that's only with one race and one night of practice so I'm certain that with a little bit more practice and consistency hitting the line that we've nailed here we are going to be able to get into them higher 55s. Uh, fastest time I've seen so far is a 55.7. I believe that a few tenths could be taken off of that but I haven't seen it yet so we'll have to watch and see. Now, uh, really careful before we get started our track guide here to uh, make sure as you're practicing with this one, you're keeping your eyesight far down the track. Uh, I'm going to remind you a couple times during the walkthrough itself, but uh, this track does not have a lot of reference points. So you're going to want to be extra aware, keeping your eyes focused down, apex, exits, that kind of thing. Like right now I'm watching my entrance, switching to watching my apex. As soon as I got my apex, I'm spotting my exit. And you need to be aware of that. This track's going to be very difficult in terms of finding markers. It's much more a field track. Uh, it's small and tight enough that uh, the technical parts here that I'll give you should be enough to get you started. But keep your eye open for small opportunities, adjustments that you can make to your throttle and brake to be a little bit smoother. And uh, we should be able to get you down again into the uh, the low 56s, high 55s if you, if you really push and you practice a good bit. Uh, now it should be noted... That 57.58 on this track is actually not too bad of a time. Uh, when we're talking about you guys that are just starting or learning, I know this is a rookie guide, so we want to be, you know, helping out you newer guys. And I don't want you guys to feel bad if you're not able to run the 56s. It's a small track. It's very tight times. Uh, no reference points makes it really hard to drive for uh, how small of a track it is. So just be aware, uh, 57s, 58s are just fine for those of you guys that are learning. Just get yourself under a minute and start bringing it down from there. No worries. So what I'm going to do here is uh, start off with the internal guide. So we'll skip on over to that, and then I will be back with the external guide. So from the left at the tree, onto the brakes, down to third, second, in. Grab your curb, stay on it and patient, get on the gas easy and out. Grab your left curb, you're going to feel it bounce, bounce it back to the right, get on the gas, on the brakes and in, catch the curb again, use it to tow you around, easing on the throttle on the way out, try to get on it and hold it, it's going to try to be loose, it's not a good corner. Off to the right, watching for just over top of the hill in the top of third gear to get on the brakes, in, you don't catch the dip, you didn't make the corner. On it wide a little bit, that's okay, we didn't catch the dip, we didn't make the corner. But we were close enough that it's not too bad. Hard on the brakes, in, tight, second, lots of blip. Grab it and go. Very nice. 56.46. All right, here we are on the outside of the car, moving to the left of the track as we cross the start finish line. Now, looking for that last tree on the left, getting off the gas, easing into the breakdown, third, then second gear on turn in, in tight to the curb. Patience getting through on the throttle, curb to the left, back to the right. Now, careful as we're slowing down the car, bringing it into the curb on the left, maintaining speed and gassing up out through the gears, being special attention to oversteer. Now, remember, vision here is important. As we crest the hill in third gear, you're going to get to the top of it, then get on the brake, apex at the dip, and then get on throttle again, being again very careful for the oversteer. Bringing the car back just to the left of the dotted lines now, watching for the pole there, you can see, and it's coming in just to the left of it on the brakes down third, then second gear, hard on the throttle for the blip, watching for your exit, patience, and ease onto the gas. If you catch the dirt there, it will try to spin you. And that's it, my friends. That's it. Inside, outside, that's about as good as I'm going to get her for you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this week. Hopefully you get something out of it. And be sure to pay attention next week on Monday, if you're watching the streams Tuesday, if you're looking for the uploads, for the next guide. And uh, as always, guys, comment down below with any suggestions or, or for improvements, comments, anything like that. I'm always noting them down and trying to better the guides. I do think we're starting to get it tighter now, starting to look pretty good and uh, doing things nice and efficiently. And again, if you guys could also be sure to like, subscribe, share, support the Sim Pit, what I'm doing over here with the Rookie Guides, and most of all, what our man Sean Cole has been doing for the last decade or so. Thank you guys as always, 
and we will see you again next week. This is The Simpit. I'm Devin Booth. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching.